Still celebrating the good news of Easter all week long. Thank you for joining us today in prayer, my friends. I'm Father Ron. The team is with us. Praise be to God another day. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord has risen. The Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Psalm 8. Who are we? O Lord our God, how majestic is your name throughout all the earth. When I contemplate the night sky, the cosmos which all unfolded from a speck, galaxies, stars, this beautiful earth. Who are we humans that you attend to us, mere mortals in our tiny corner, and you love us? We are life come to knowing and feeling. The whole world is in our hands. Plants and animals, oceans and ice caps, rainforests, atmosphere and ecosystem. Touch our hearts, O God. Make us worthy of this trust. Help us care for life on this beautiful earth. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 45 through 48. Then Jesus opened their minds to understand the Scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. When was the last time someone helped you see things in a new way? Do you remember the feelings that were part of that moment? I know that having others open our minds to see and relate to things differently takes time and trust. Usually, this kind of experience is reserved for those closest to us, a friend, a family or trusted colleague. This is so because those who are close to us have insights into our personality and quirks. Chances are they know how to say things to us so that we can really, really listen. The understanding these moments bring to us expands our visions and horizons. Today, Luke invites us to one of these eye-opening moments. He tells us how Jesus opened the minds of his friends and those who follow him closely. It is Jesus who reminds his followers of the truth of their friendship and relationship. The words Jesus is sharing are not some cold, rigid facts of his life but recognizable shared values, events, and sacred moments. They are important and meaningful details of his personal life. Jesus, we know, suffered. Jesus died. Christ is now risen. 
I suspect that for the followers of Jesus and his friends, these words have personal meaning. They can recognize them as true precisely because they have been witness to it. Along the way, they have experienced Christ's love, care, accompaniment, compassion, and healing. Like those in Luke's story, we too get to hear what has been preached beginning in Jerusalem and throughout the nations. Christ is risen. Yes, Christ is risen. Today, our minds are opened anew. Our visions of life and a horizon of possibilities are expanded to great ends. Today, we can see with fresh eyes, and our minds can grasp the good news before us. Jesus' words have personal meaning for us. We know this resurrection to be true, good, and beautiful because we too have followed Jesus Christ along the way. Today, in faith, we sing and preach our Alleluia loud and clear for others to see and hear in faith, hope, and love. Is there someone in your life you're praying for? Someone's? Let's lift them to the Lord now in your heart. And together we pray and we believe in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Lord, draw my thoughts upward toward you every minute of every day, but especially this Easter. Help me to resist the temptation to focus on the painful things of this earthly life and learn to control my thoughts so they don't sink my faith or joy in you. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Easter love and blessings upon you, friends. Thank you. Thank you for taking time to be with your brothers and sisters all over the world these last 10 minutes just to praise God. What a blessing this is. Thank you. And may God's blessing and protection now wrap you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>